Namaste. What's good? Welcome to Divine Energy Tarot. I'm Divine Energy. Welcome to my beautifully lit, prosperous YouTube. Here I like to do spiritually related videos and content. As long as you're enjoying that, make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up. Alright, and make sure you subscribe if you're new here. What up? Okay. If you're returning, what's good, gang? Let's get into it. We got a message for Pisces. Okay. So, yeah, let's roll with it. Let's start off with Pisces messages here. Let's <coughs> see what's coming out. What's coming out for Pisces? What's coming out for Pisces? So something's getting, you're getting a yes for something, something that you apply for, something that you ask for, there's going to be a yes for that situation. This could be a loan, this could be like paperwork, all of that filing, whatever it is, 115, Pisces, you're getting a yes, um, October week 9th through the 12th, responsibilities, also, okay. Is coming out here things that you're responsible for you also got a money tree new assets and you might be able to retire young for some of my pisces damn who the fuck is loaded like this you got our fucking money tree pisces you busting right now like busting busting new assets like yeah this could be like new car all of that good shit yeah benefits employee benefits like you're you're breaking in this shit okay y'all hear the confirmations okay yeah yeah <laughs> all right talk to me big dog what's good Pisces feels neglected by someone. Pisces feels like somebody doesn't care. But Pisces is still holding on to someone. Some of you guys, I'm not going to lie. You feel like there's no sorries allowed in this situation. Because you feel like somebody like caused a lot of confusion, lied, or just... You know what I'm saying? We're very much just in their shadow. Right? Um, it's not a... That they shadow was a bad thing. It's just that they if they shadow self blocked them from a connection here with some of my Pisces. Okay. And again, I, I felt like somebody might have neglected Pisces here. Okay. There's someone you really value, you really treasure though. And I feel like you're reminiscing about this person. That could definitely be coming up. Um, as you get like a yes or some sort of approval. I feel like your Pisces, they're telling me like you're attracting love and money. Ooh. Said you attract love and money. Hmm. Lady. What is coming out? Pisces week 9 through the 12th. I gotta go post the other videos. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna post the other videos that I got for um the other signs. I got three signs videos. I need to post them today. Upload them to the channel so y'all could get them. Pisces, what's coming up? 
Two number Pisces, ninth and twelve. Four. Bulls eye focus. So yeah, we gotta something you're very focused on. You're gonna get a yes. I feel like you might be just overthinking something. Don't overthink anything right now because I feel like it's already been granted to you here. Just focus on the outcome that you wanted more so so you could be more ooh in the bottom of the deck you got heart love so there is somebody that you you know what i'm saying you got on your mind pisces like you wondering about this opportunity there's somebody like you feel you grow old with you know for some of you guys you might feel like this is um, also somebody that you, uh, you feel somebody felt somebody feels here Pisces in your reading I don't know if this is you or someone else that you felt like giving someone felt that like giving them what they wanted or some shit I don't fucking know yeah, I mean, fucking know. Ah. oh shit I gotta stop Oh God, I gotta stop. Pisces, week 9 through the 12. Success and growth. I can't make this shit up for you, Pisces. Like, you, oh my God, you're on fire this week. 9 through the 12, like, for real, leader. Some of you guys gonna really show some people that didn't know the capacity of your leadership, how much of a leader you were, because you were sitting back and, like, letting other people, you know what I'm saying, play that role or something like that, and... Now you're heading towards happiness soon. Come on. Like Pisces. Hello. Okay, five, six. Five, six, seven. Then you got a one, two, three, four. So something is happening. Seven, seventeen. Something is happening in divine order. What's going to be your energy the week of 9 through the 12th? What's going to be your uh, energy personally? What is the energy that Pisces finds themselves in the week 9 through the 12th, October 2023? 9 through the 12th, 2023, October. What is that energy for Pisces? All tied up. Five. See, you waiting on a change. So right now, you kind of holding back because you're waiting on something. Not going to lie. Is your energy? Let me get one more. Pisces. You're also going to be dealing with some sort of financial constraint. This is just because of where you are. I feel like it might also have something, like have some of your finances tied up into your current situation but if you got money tree coming so it's like something is coming you're attracting money you can be dealing remember i said pisces some of these people some of these energies around you they're gonna be pissed off that you got this leadership position or you about to show people really on some boss shit like really who you are these people envy you there's people out here that envy you you got the empress bottom of the day talk to me about pisces this week Yeah, I'm going to be using um, the Nightmare Before Christmas tarot deck for Pisces. All October, we're using um, the Nightmare Before Christmas deck or any other spooky decks. <laughs> all October, all right? <laughs> it's lit. <laughs> Holy Spirit connecting me to Pisces week, October 9th through the 12th, 2023. Messages for Pisces. I just 
know that more is coming for you. Some sort of success, some sort of growth. Okay. I didn't even flip these upside down, did I? I didn't even flip this deck yet. I usually just let my decks get flipped by themselves. I usually don't flip them. Let me see. <laughs> There's a connection here that you're ready to go forward with. 11, you're ready to go forward with a connection. This is a divine counterpart for Pisces. This is a divine counterpart. And then you got all the two of pentacles. This is a divine partnership. What is the lovers? There's something that needs to be fixed or adjusted here because, again, with this, I failed to give you what you need. This Seven of Pentacles, which is a Seven of Presents, it's like there felt somebody feels like this something is worth this. Pisces, you feel like something is worth it with a connection, working on, fixing. Something takes time. You can't stop thinking about somebody. It's like you know that this is the person that you need. But you may have been holding back from this person is what I'm getting. I feel like, again, that, you know, when the shadow came up, maybe somebody's shadow reminded you of your own. And maybe you didn't like what you saw. So maybe there's some sort of, like, you understanding that part about you and, like, acknowledging. Right? Bottom of the deck and the five of needles, which is the five of sword. What's the two of pentacles? What's the two of pentacles? For Pisces. What's the two of pentacles for Pisces? King of Wands. There's the leadership card again. So you're going to be spearheading something. King of Pentacles. So, here's that. So, what do they call that shit? Um, eat your heart out. <laughs> That's what you're going to be telling your rivals. What are you leading? Um, what is the leadership for you? King of Candles. What is that? Wow, the fucking sun? Are you fucking shitting me? What's this? What's this? <laughs> Pisces a fucking leader. <laughs> oh my god. I guess that. Yeah, some of you guys, this money that you was that you were thinking about kept you up worried about something. You got this page of pentacles out here. It's coming in. You just don't see everything coming because you're not paying attention to your intuition. Okay. You being real practical. But there's something you need to surrender also. So. What is it that you need to surrender? What does Pisces need to surrender? Let go of. So they said you need to stop being so cold to people that you care about. you like, it's not cold, you're just detached. Again, with that all tied up.
You got the Four of Wands, the Justice, the Knight of Pentacles, Patience. It's like you're stubborn. Your shadow self is coming out and you're stubborn. That's probably what you need to release, your shadow self right now. I feel like, Pisces, you could be very much the week 9th through the 12th in your shadow self, right? And it's going to be coming up to, to see you if you can surrender something so you can have your, your inheritance, your abundance, what's meant for you, the Empress. What is the Empress? What is the Empress? What is the Empress? Two of Swords. So you could feel like <sighs> they just um gave me this song from Billie Eilish. Um, what was I made for? And that song is like about being a robot. So you could feel like you're a robot or some shit. <clears throat> it was the particular verse when she said. Or the particular line when she said she don't know how to feel. What was she made for? She doesn't know how to feel the heart. Somebody's been not feeling with their heart for a very long time. Seventeen. And somebody made you realize your flaws. Who is this person that made Pisces realize your flaws so that you could be a better person? Because I don't think it was never the money or nothing like that. You definitely got your ego though going. Who is this person to you? Who is this inspiration? Because I feel like somebody's this inspirational. And this is probably who you see as like my fair lady for Pisces. To somebody you hold up high, like on the pedestal, like you really respect, revere this person. Who is that person for Pisces? Who is that? Mm. Could it be possible air signs? You going about something that you feel like is very radical. Almost impossible. Not impossible, but like, because Pisces, you know anything is possible. But it's like, I want to say what you're going about is definitely radical. You know what I'm saying? Kind of going against something here. Right? What was I made for? That's what he said in that song. <laughs> Pisces. I don't know what to do. Charita. God damn, I don't know where to go. Your fucking reading is wild as shit. Week 9th through the 12th. Because you're going through so many phenomenal changes. You're about to have some sort of liberation or, or freedom here. And your heart is just cold as shit. Like, you ain't been used to fucking using that shit. You can really focus on some logical shit. And it's paying off. <laughs> However, it's like that part of you, your heart, that you know you got to connect back to. And that's hard for you because... If you obviously haven't been using that muscle, right, that muscle's going to be weak. You feel me? Like, it's weak. <laughs> it's weak. <laughs> Pisces. Oh my God. I don't know. Like, this shit wild to me, Pisces. Tell me about what that fool is about. Why is the fool showing up, though? Who is the fool? I feel like it's an air sign for some of my Pisces. Could be a Scorpio. Why did 
this look like too. Because it is, ain't it? Possible error sign. This is somebody that you already had a connection with. This is somebody you've already built up like some at least a friendship with. You had some sort of relationship with. This is somebody who showed you like how to feel. Showed you like their heart. Like and what I'm getting is like somebody who's very spiritual or just like very down to earth, very understanding, charismatic. Somebody could have like a Scorpio and Venus. Or Venus and Scorpio, whatever the fuck. Or I could be, Scor um, Scorpio could be significant for Pisces. That could be the person that's the Scorpio. I don't know, they just keep saying Scorpio, 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 what the fuck? All right, damn, that's enough. Three of fucking candles, which is the three of wands to the world. Could be a possible Sagittarius for some. Pisces. You got a temperance over here. My fair lady. Wow. Oh, my nipples just got freaking cold as shit. What the fuck, yo? Hmm. <laughs> I get you like stuck. Pisces is stuck this week between the rock and the hard spot because it's like you know that this love is here. You can have this love. However, it's like you saying, I kind of want to wait on something. I kind of want to wait till I got my shit in order and everything's all where I want it to be. And you know, all of that type of shit. Like, that's what you're saying as far as it, when it comes to this connection. Like, ain't no half stepping to this shit. That's like what you're saying. Essentially. Most quintessentially. Where are you? But yeah, um. That's what I was getting for your reading, anyways. Alright. I don't know. I just don't wanna. Y'all reading is too long. Like, I gotta cut y'all off. Come back for another one. Damn, I love you, Pisces.